I'm Carly Ann and um, I'm the founder and owner of Neptune Girls. I'm Olivia Cheeseborough and um, I've been dancing with Neptune Girls for, well I danced with Neptune Girls for six months before I started teaching with them. I started dancing with Neptune Girls, I think it was August two years ago um, and then about six months later myself and Olivia started coming around with Carly and training up to be teachers then for Neptune Girls. So teaching now about a year and a half so yeah coming up to two years dancing and a year and a half teaching. My name's Anna Dockeray and I've been with Neptune Girls for about a year and a half now, um, but only actually been teaching for about three months, I think it is. I am Elaine and I joined Neptune Girls like a year and a half ago. And I have recently started teaching and I'm now teaching a course. Um, so yeah, I'm like the newest teacher. My name's Helena, or Heli, as the Neptune Girls know me, and I started going to Neptune Girls just over a year ago, and since then I've actually become a part of the Neptune team, I guess you would say, as I now also do, do Neptune Girls social media. I haven't actually, I used to dance with Neptune Girls before, um, and then Carly restarted it again, so then I started getting more involved with the teaching side of it. I always wanted to dance, um, but there wasn't any opportunity where I was living in Bracknell at the time, there was nothing locally, um, and my mum was single parent mum, and there were quite a few of us, <laughs> there were five of us um, in the house, so she couldn't afford to take me anywhere, um, so I would just learn dance routines from like Michael Jackson videos and then later on Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. I kind of just thought that dance was something that I wouldn't get to do just because I didn't have the opportunity to do it. Um, so I kind of put that to one side and then went to university and I did psychology, studied psychology which I still love psychology and I've kind of bringing that into Neptune Girls now as well. At university, I did my exercise to music qualification um, and ended up teaching aerobics classes. Um, and my aerobics classes ended up being very dancey. <laughs> um, and that gave me the finances to then eventually be able to go to London and start taking classes for myself, which was amazing. And even in Portsmouth when I moved there, which was in 1999, there was nothing at that time. Luckily, I worked for the University of Portsmouth um, and they offered me classes um, in a school to teach to children, um, just very basic street dance. So. I kind of started teaching dance there, so my training really as a teacher was as a fitness instructor. Um, and then I was training dance in London um, at the same time. And then at the university, they created a job for me as a dance development officer. Um, and it was about get making dance more accessible in more underprivileged areas, which was great for me because that was kind of my upbringing. So I felt like I got to sort of give back something that I didn't have, which I found really, really rewarding. Um, and it just, it was just all very organic. I never, I was doing my degree, finished my degree, and I just thought, I just want to see what happens with the dance thing. Um, and I carried on teaching in schools, um, and then inevitably, if you're teaching a dance class, then people say, oh, can we perform? And then it just kind of evolved into a dance school very naturally. And that spanned out for 10 years, and that was Most Wanted Street Dance School. And then in 2010, I went to LA for three months just to take dance classes um, at Debbie Reynolds Dance Studios, and it was amazing, best time of my life. And that was the first time I ever danced in heels. 
and um, I did burlesque inspired dance and all these styles that I felt like I'd been looking for all my life. <laughs> and I came back um, and at the time, this is where the name came from, at the time I was living with, um, there was five girls, so living with four other girls and we were living in a house called Neptune House. <laughs> um, so me and my friend, we were doing some backing dancing for a lady um, and we came up with the name together, Neptune Girls Dance. I first heard about Neptune Girls, I think it was via Facebook, which I think a lot of us have found, and I think someone that I was kind of like mutual friends with had gone to one of the classes and she was saying how like amazing it was and I was a little bit intimidated by it at first because I hadn't been, I used to go dancing when I was little, I went to like a proper dance school and everything, and um, I hadn't been for such a long time and I was like, oh, like I kept putting it off for ages and then I just pushed myself to go on my own, which was probably like a lot really daunting for quite a lot of people, but I just did it and then when I went I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I heard about Neptune Girls because some friends were going to do a course there and I thought oh it sounds good sounds like sassy and I've always been like very sassy when I dance uh, I was a bit scared because um, it was like orientated for commercial girly style and I thought like well maybe guys are not allowed there so I joined one day uh, actually it was auditions that day and I just loved it I loved it so I decided that that was my place I felt the vibe was so good, uh, I was so welcomed and I just enjoyed it so much that I decided I wanted to be there. So I moved to Southsea um, about two years ago and I was just looking on Facebook, looking through Instagram and I saw Neptune Girls come up. There was a few videos on my um, suggested feed and I clicked on it and I looked and I thought, oh god, where are these classes? And I saw they were in Southsea and I thought, fantastic, because I'd been dancing before, given up for a few years. There weren't really any classes in the South you could go to, maybe in London, but there was something local that I could go to. These videos just kept popping up and I was like, like, you know, you feel like you put something out there, like, I really wish there was a dance group for me and then it starts coming up and I'm like, hello, <laughs> who's listening? I was a professional dancer from 19 through 2.30 um, and I kind of had come home and just felt a little bit lost really. I'd got into fitness and uh, nutrition and that was going great but my passion has always been in music and dance but I do think you get to an age where you don't feel like you're done dancing um, but the industry tells you you're done and um, so you kind of stop and I suppose I wasn't ready to stop. I first heard about Neptune Girls through Carly. I've known Carly Ann for quite a bit and I loved everything she sort of done dance wise. And then when she came up with the Neptune Girls brand and the whole of the body positivity, embracing women, all of that, I, I love dancing. So I always love it when it can become something where we actually have more of a meaning to it instead of just dance. I've always thought if I was to have a dance school, if I have an organisation of people that it's really important to use that platform for something positive and I know that going to dance classes can be very intimidating and I also know that a lot of people want to dance and I know how positive it is and that um, like obviously music is uplifting and moving to music and I just wanted to do a focus group just to find out why people weren't coming to dance classes um, and I kind of already knew some of the reasons that a lot of the dance classes cater for children or if they're adult classes it's for professionals so there was kind of like a gap there so I knew that and I just wanted to find out why what people were scared of um, and just make sure that Neptune Girls was a really safe place and there's absolutely no reason to sort of feel in, I can understand why people feel intimidated, but I didn't want there to be that element of feeling like you were going to be judged by anybody. It doesn't matter what your age is, as long as you're over 18. It doesn't matter what your age is, it doesn't matter what your size is, it doesn't matter what your ability is, it doesn't matter if you have anxiety. Um, whatever the reason is you tell yourself that you can't go to that class or you think stopping you, it's okay. My first class was very nerve-wracking, but everyone was so friendly. Um, I remember walking up the stairs and seeing a bunch of girls sat there that obviously had been taking class before and thinking, oh my God, you know, you new girl walking into a room, you don't even know anyone. Um, but everyone introduced themselves, everyone said hey, and you know, made you feel really welcome. Um, Carly especially made you feel really welcome, and 
the the feeling and the vibe you just got from the room was really friendly. I've been in classes before where you feel like you're being judged or being watched and it's not a very nice feeling but at Neptune Girls that is definitely not the feeling that you get. You know, you just, you couldn't wait to go back the next Monday for it. From my first class it was quite daunting because I was always used to being the dance the dance teacher, not the dancer. So coming and, and obviously standing and learning that and it, it was, came to me as a shock how like how much it came back quite quickly and just how I sort of felt like the spark was coming back. Um, like didn't even pick up the choreo perfectly because two years out of it, I was quite rusty. But I remember just feeling and sort of having a little bit, I walked to dance and I remember walking home and feeling a little bit more of a swag in my step and just a little bit more, a bit more me, I suppose. So I started my business Sassy World four years ago as part of my final major project at uni. Um, and it's a vintage clothing line which is sold purely online and it's all like really crazy colourful vintage um, which is also branched into like colourful swimwear and things like that and so I'd already launched that and I think me and Kylie kind of had been following each other a little bit when I just when I first started and she came up to me I think or just before I started maybe my first or second lesson she was like oh you run Sassy World like we should collaborate one time and I was like oh yeah and like didn't really think that much of it but then um, she messaged me like actually we really should collaborate. You just sort of you join a community and it's all ages, all body types, all experiences um, and it was just magical I'd say the word is. Our classes are like welcome for everyone. Our level is for everyone to start dancing. Uh, we tell them that they don't need to be really uh, afraid of learning all the steps. Uh, they are just there to feel the music, enjoy themselves. And as soon as they got that and they feel like, oh, I'm really enjoying it and nobody's judging me, uh, they feel like they belong there. After my first class, I remember saying to my friend, I don't want to teach because I've been teaching for years and I was like, this is just going to be for me. I just want to dance, I just want to enjoy this, I just want to get back to Anna um, and expressing myself through dance, through music and that's it. I'm not going to teach. I'm not going to teach. I'm definitely not going to teach. I'm not going to teach. And then I remember one day Carly saying, I'm desperate for a teacher, can you teach? And I'm thinking, okay, I'll, I'll teach this one class. Okay, that's fine. And then another one came along. Okay, yeah, I'll do this. And then actually, I remembered how much I loved teaching dance. For, so initially when I started doing a couple of classes, I remember like my boyfriend saying to me at the time, like, you know, is that something that you'd like to teach? And I was like, yeah, maybe, but you know, I was very much enjoying the class. Um, and then Carly sort of men mentioned to a few of us in the performance team, like, you know, I could really do with some teachers. And I've literally never wrote back to a text message so quick in my life. I was like, me, please pick me, pick me. And she was like, yeah, yeah, okay, come round. I remember like when I first started teaching, there was a woman who messaged us and said that she hadn't been on a date in years because she just couldn't have the confidence to do it. She'd been coming to Neptune Girls classes for a couple of weeks, I think. And she was like, I've got a date. And you and your classes have made that happen, you know, made me have the confidence to actually want to go out there and, you know, get herself a date. And it's just little things like that, like helping people with their personal lives. It's amazing what something can do. You don't think it's correlated, but something as simple as a dance class can have an impact on someone's life and actually change it. And I think that's where they're like, it kind of makes you a bit emotional and you think, oh my God, like, did I actually have some input into that? But you do, and it's amazing. Once I started teaching, I couldn't really get on, get over how something that I was getting so much fun and enjoy, enjoyment and sort of pleasure out of was also sort of coming off to other people too. Like you get messages from people saying like, I've had a really bad day. You don't understand what your class did for me tonight. And I'm like, no, I get that. Like, I can't believe that you're also getting that from something that I get so much pleasure out of as well. And it's just, it's that type of infectious sort of, it just, it's viral. It sort of spreads out, I think, to anyone who comes in contact with it. And it was seeing, the progression in people as well. Um, even when I was dancing and not teaching, um, a few girls sort of always stand out in my mind of people that were coming and just stand at the back of the class. And then week by week, you see them moving forward, stepping forward, stepping forward, stepping. And then all of a sudden, they're these like divas. <laughs> well, maybe not divas, but um, yeah, they go from sort of quite shy, maybe, very, um, I've got one girl in my mind, um, yeah, just a little bit shy, a little bit, not as confident, um, but you can see why they're there. And the environment is so encouraging and um, it just brings people out themselves. And for me personally, it, it reminded me of who I was. So I've, I've seen literally people come into a class, feel really nervous, really anxious, not too sure, and I, not too sure on how they're gonna feel about the class. And I really love how watching them grow and watching confidence build 
really, 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 really is so, so amazing to feel as a teacher and to know that you've been involved in that makes it even better. But the whole overall building of confidence, love that, yeah, it's been amazing. So it really makes me feel good about teaching and makes me want to carry on teaching, so yeah. Having a performance team is kind of the natural thing that it leads towards. Um, it's just a great performance opportunity and just having something that's just for us to perform because normally we guest perform at places. So it's just really giving everyone that platform to, to shine because they're all fabulous. So I met Josh actually because he saw the promo video that we did a while back that was our body positivity one called Too Much Booty um, and he contacted me um, and he's got a background in sort of cabaret and events um, and we met up and we like immediately hit it off. Um, he's just so flamboyant and lovely and charismatic um, and he'd done some comparing before so I asked him to compare for the Neptune girls. I just thought he'd be the perfect choice and he was, he was fabulous. Uh, my name is the fabulous Josh. I am a uh, South Sea's premier queer queen. Um, I spend my time running around South Sea, making it more of a queer place to be. Um, telling kids that the gay agenda is the thing to be. Not sure that Vlad Poot would really like that so much, but oh well, here we are. We don't live there. We live in England. It's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that's kind of me, really. My whole life is just this. <laughs> There's Queen Neptune running, running <laughs> through there. Bye, Queen Neptune. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of me really. Just running around, looking like a twat, enjoying myself. Do you want to see some of these? Okay, I'm so. I'm gonna move over here again. Do you want me to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a bit more digment for this and I'll show you what I've got. Right, so <laughs> this is for Britney, my Britney number. It's like my Britney bodcon suit. Um, for work, we're doing work, bitch. So I'm doing that for that. Um, and I'll probably couple it with a really expensive 99p tinsel wig um, because I'm a cheap queen and I like to keep it, I like to keep it free. Um, I've got my Zigga Zig R catsuit, obviously a leopard print, can't go wrong with a bit of that. Um, I've got my obligatory clown suit, because I like to do a bit of clown drag. You see, as you can see, it's all easy drag because it's such a quick show that I just have no time for anything. Um, I've got a bit of sequin, you know, it's just a bit of fabric, but I just wrap it around myself and hope for the best. Uh, I've got my, this is my Madonna, which looks a bit worse for wear at the moment. But she's kind of getting ready for Vogue with this beautiful hat that, uh, that we made, me and my better half. But yeah, like, it's, it, is, it is really important, like you're saying, about self-affirmation. Um, because actually, we don't go on stage because we think we're good enough. We go on stage for that approval. Um, and actually, we look for that in every crevice of our life. And it's so funny that a lot of performers, a lot of people that I know, I tend to be the ones that are the most insecure people. And it's like when you go on stage, you're there just like, you know, strutting your stuff and you're just waiting at the end for that round of applause and that cheer because that's what keeps you going. Um, and it's so funny because actually I think part of me is actually quite a, quite an introvert. Um, so having that juxtaposition between being this introvert that kind of is riddled with insecurity and anxiety to this kind of like drag clown that I just run on and just think that I like own the shop and you... You kind of have to do, you have to push yourself through because if you don't push yourself to do these things, then actually we'll just end up doing nothing with our, life, uh, with our lives. And I think there's a weird thing about saying, I don't feel like I'm good enough, but I want to constantly keep proving myself. Um, and I want to give back, even though I don't know what I've got to give. It's like, it's like a weird thing that, totally what you mean. do you know what I mean? It's that weird split where you want to like give and you want to like give back or do whatever that means to you and like feel inspired that way. But you know, you're always saying to yourself, Oh no, why are you doing it? Why are you the one that gets to do this? Why, do you know what why I mean? Not? Yeah. yeah, why not? And I think actually we have to like push that past and look at ourselves and go, actually in the mirror, I am good enough. I can do this. And why should it not be me? Watching the dress rehearsal, I was very excited seeing everybody um, and a dream sort of becoming a reality and it all coming together and looking how I imagined it would. So Neptune Girls is about empowerment and it was really important for me to connect with people that what our message was about. So I gave a little speech at the beginning to sort of say what we're about and that it's about accepting yourself for who you are. And, and then we just danced it out and, <laughs> and tried to portray our message through the dance and, and through Josh giving his message as well. But um, I really think the message 
was portrayed because we had so many lovely comments afterwards. We're really blown away by the comments, so that was amazing. I personally thought it, but so many people have said the song, the film, the message in the film is spot on with what Neptune Girls is doing, so it was a no-brainer that we were going to dance to This Is Me, Great The Showman. Um, and it was just a lovely course, it was just really uplifting. I wanted to be part of it, but G made me, <laughs> G made me centre stage, I didn't ask to be. <laughs> um, and she kind of pointed out that it, yeah, it's kind of similar to the, the story of, of Neptune Girls as well. So it was just the perfect finale, kind of like everybody coming together, celebrating who we are, being ourselves, and then having a party on stage.